Rebecca with Bex Fine Art, and for today's video, I shall be showing you how to do some really cool drill spin art. Just kidding. So these were actually pretty big fails, even though they both ended up looking kind of cool. How I chose to do them was probably not the smartest or the best way, and you also shouldn't be trying it at home. But feel free to watch and laugh at me. Here are the supplies that I attempted to use for my first experiment. So I found some cardboard laying around, traced around the canvas with Sharpie. And then I decided to cut it out just with some scissors. You will see that this technique was not the smartest. I mostly did it because with my other drill spin art, you guys saw that I used matte board, which is the same thickness as cardboard roughly. So I thought that it might potentially work for the canvas, but I was very uncertain since the canvas was a lot heavier and it had to spin on the drill, but I figured why not just try it anyways. So then I used my staple gun to staple the cardboard to the back of the canvas, thinking that this would help it stay on the drill. There's copper in my feet. For the first attempt, we just tried to poke the drill through the cardboard, which we were able to do, but you'll see why this didn't work in a second. When I tried to spin it, it did not stay on the drill very well, nor did it spin. This is the part where we got real redneck and I decided to tape the cardboard to the part of the drill that spins. Obviously this is not smart and clearly wasn't going to work very well, but we were kind of taking the easy way out and being lazy by trying this way instead of doing it the smart way. Again, I realize this looks stupid, and it is stupid, but it makes for an entertaining video, so please enjoy. Once I had the tape all the way on, I decided to test spinning it, and it clearly did not stick all the way, so I had to go back and add a little bit more tape to make it more secure. for the test spin, so then I was ready to do the full spin. When I've seen people do this online, it doesn't really seem like it matters where you put the paint, so I just kind of threw it all around. I just picked a variety of paint because I know as I spin it, the paint will end up going outwards anyway, so it doesn't totally matter where you put it, at least while you're just having fun and experimenting. Alright, so obviously when you do this, you need to make sure that clothes can stand getting paint on or you wear a fancy apron like this. So since I did this really unprofessionally, I have to do it all at once and I can't stop otherwise the painting might fly off. Here we go. using my table saw because the tape method did not work so well. 
and neither of us have used this before, so this will probably be another interesting video. So right now my brother is working on cutting this piece of wood in half to drill into the back of the canvas. We then decided to cut that piece in half to make a skinnier piece of wood so hopefully it would stay on the drill a little bit better. Again, this did not totally work. My brother drilled a couple holes in either side so that way we could put the screws in and you'll see he ended up going through the canvas right here. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> he did a better job with this one. Now we are drilling screws into the back of the wood. I shouldn't say we because really Phil's doing everything. I just get to do the fun part. Once we're done, then I'll obviously unscrew the wood. I'm sticking the drill bit through the wood so that way we can spin it. No idea if this will work. So for the second canvas I decided to put the paint on a little bit differently. Still fairly random but I wanted to see if doing it this way would change how the paint spreads out. And because this was a fail you'll see it didn't totally matter but maybe if it had worked out it would have made a difference. Thanks for watching. Hopefully next time I try this, we'll actually be able to give you some good directions on how to achieve it safely and properly. Um, I might actually experiment doing some watercolor spin art too, because I think that would definitely be a lot easier than doing the canvas, so we'll give that a shot as well. So as usual, please like and subscribe, and if you want to check out any of my personal art, go ahead and check out all my social media accounts. They are at Bex Fine Art. All of them have a link tree that takes you to any of my social media pages. All right, see you guys next time.